I would just like to point out that this is not how physics work. I just shield surfed all the way from the Gerudo, uh, the Gerudo town. And that's not really downhill. It's a little bit downhill, I guess. If I, here, if I bring this up, that starts it as vertical. Or that, that starts at, at a horizontal plane. It's like, it's like 10 or 20 feet up in the air. It, or not up in the air, above us. Like, it's not that much of an incline, but we were able to shield surf down it. Anyway, hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, as boring as it sounds, we spoke to everyone in Rito Village, bidding it adieu, and now we have no reason to return there unless we want to... Uh, unless we want to repair our Great Eagle bow. We also were able to read Rivali's journal, which many of you didn't even know about, which is pretty cool. I, I'm glad that even now, you're still learning new things about the game, even though it's been out for well over a year, and I am still playing it. This time, we're going to be doing the same treatment to Gerudo Town, starting with the, uh, the, the checkpoint here. So let's talk to Kyra. Mm -hmm. Savak. Pretty close. You don't see them. You don't see my kinswomen wearing that style often. I bet it drives Vo out in the world wild. I'm at the, per at the perfect age to travel and see what the world holds myself, but I've barely explored this mm. desert. Adventurers won't come and find me, I know. I have to put myself out there. I like staying around the familiar, I guess. You, though, you should see the world. Meet new people. Maybe you'll meet a nice Vo. Savort, traveler. I'm baking in the sun. <laughs> I like telling random strangers that I am very hot and need to go into shade. Anyway, so we're going to be starting with this, I don't even remember what this thing's called. The Bazaar, that's what it was. Uh, checkpoint just didn't seem right. Checkpoint seems military and this is very, very much not military. This is a, a pretty casual affair, considering that the Gerudo let men around here. Whoa, wow, this beautiful lady is totally my type. This is probably a good idea that I'm wearing this, because I don't think I've spoken to anyone while wearing this thing. Don't mess this up, don't mess this up. Oh. Uh, hey there! D date you want to go to do on? <sighs> that's, that's hilarious. Hello! Oh, wow, you're really cute. I mean, um, oh jeez, I don't know what, why I just up and said that. You know... Link should feel pretty bad about this because when he when he went into slumber, he wasn't short. I mean, he wasn't super tall, but he wasn't short. And now he wakes up and every human stands a head and sometimes a head and shoulders taller than him. That has to feel pretty bad. Yeah. Oh, we meet again. <laughs> Uh, Beetle sees right through our disguise with a soldier in earshot. What are you looking for? What are you selling? <laughs> oh, goodness, Beetle. I love you. Wow. You're great. He doesn't even question it. He's like, oh, yeah. Th that's I have to wear these those clothes, too, to get into uh, Gerudo Town. It's weird because I'm wearing the same backpack and they see me here, but they're not they're not too bright. Don't don't tell them that. They're, they should have a different hair color. Hello. Zavok. Oh. Those clothes look good on you. And while the Divine Beast has settled down, the desert is still full of monsters. You should stay on your guard. Once my shift ends, I'm thinking of putting on a nice outfit and going out. And you'll probably just stay in those clothes and take off the armor and then call it good. Hmm? Oh, Vazak, those clothes. They look quite good on you. You know, with all of the, the Gerudo women saying this... I wonder if these particular Gerudo women know that I'm a guy. Because it's kind of weird to mention the clothes to just a random woman, you know? Because in, in the town, we're convincing everyone that we're a Gerudo. Just a short Gerudo, maybe a kid. And here, it's just weird that they're all saying that the clothes look good on me. I feel like they know. With the Divine Beast gone, you can sleep soundly without being woken up by constant stomping. Want to stay? Uh. You know, those clothes look quite good on you. Even on close examination, you look every bit the fine body. They do know! They totally know! They- Oh man. 
These Gerudo are a little bit shifty. They are fully aware of the scam. I, you know, I was just, that was just a supposition before, but I am fully convinced now. These Gerudo women know that I'm a dude dressed as a woman. That, that's pretty good. That's a great detail. That's Sandstorm. They say it stops for a few hours a day, but it hasn't let up even a little since I've been watching. Uh, bro. Rumor has it an ancient civilization hid a treasure inside that sandstorm. I've been here for days waiting for the storm to settle so I can nab it. I just hope it wasn't a bad lead. <laughs> Shrine quest. Huh? Did it? Did the sandstorm stop? I should really get my eyes che Oh my goodness, you did your eyes checked. That poor soul. After all this time watching it, why did it just disappear like that? What a mystery. Wait, who did you say you are again? <laughs> I, I was sure we got that quest. Because I knew what he was going to say. I knew he was going to talk about this, but I don't... Maybe, maybe I didn't. Well, cool. Does he say anything now? Hmm? The sandstorm stopped. Yes, it did. Right before your very eyes. Just now. Oh, there are two Gor- Oh, Tracy! Hi! Sav Zaba. Oh, wait. I think there's supposed to be a, a B sound there. Is it Sub Sava? Sav Saba? Uh, this language is hard. Ah. I made it all the way to Gerudo Town. I'm not sure why they let me in. <laughs> I think Gerudo have a like a national crush on on Gorons because they're one of the few things bigger than them, and so they just let them in. Like they 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 would love to have Gerudo men in here. That's great. Ooh. I made it all the way to Gerudo Town. Okay, Tracy. Male Gorons seem to have no trouble getting into Gerudo Town. Yeah, it it's definitely because the the Gerudo women kind of have like a, a universal crush on Gorons. Excuse me, I don't believe in stairs. They go against my theology. I'm just going to climb straight up. Um. You just saw that through the wall. You... Are you psychic? Man, it really is happening here. Look at her... Look at her little jig. Wait, come on. Look at that. Boosh. 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 I ask you, Furiosa. I ask you, Furiosa. Is there anything better than the taste of noble pursuit? You were at death's door and you ran all the way here for that? Good grief. You're in inc incredible shape. Oh, it's this woman! Oh, cool! Does that mean you don't plan to investigate that shrine anymore? Uh. Definitely. I never dreamed that kind of work could be so dull. Uh. I'm not surprised you found it dull. That sort of thing isn't really you. Uh. Yeah, you know what it really is me? Drinking. It was the woman! Hi, other woman. Savasab. Sav Saba. Uh. Oh, dear. <laughs> You definitely don't look old enough to drink here yet. How old are you really? I'm over 100. No, really, I'm I'm actually over 100. She won't believe us, will she? Ha ha ha! What a funny vi you are. When you're older, let's have a drink together. I could, I could. You know what? You know what? You know what? I have lightning! And it doesn't affect me because I have a helm. Do you have lightning? Can you- do you have a helm that's one of a kind and magical from the queen herself? I bet you don't. I bet you don't! Yeah! Now give me a drink. That's quite an unusual thing you're wearing on your head, isn't it? Well, I can't say I expected to see you there wearing that. Are you exploring what's it, what it's like to be a thief now? <laughs> I'm only kidding, of course. Seeing that reminds me of when I was still when I still worked in the royal palace. That item was worn by the previous chief, you know. It brings back such memories. <clears throat> anyway, that helm is a real treasure to the Gerudo people and to the chief. 
I don't know how you got it exactly, but you must treat it with care. If I keep shaving three years off of her life, there's a chance that if I were to do this like 30 times, she'd just up and die. I'd like to go again, please. I'm special. We actually might be cutting this- Oh, hi! I was gonna say, we might actually be cutting this episode a bit short. Speaking of short, this is the first time we've actually been able to see- Or no, the second time we've been able to see Riju walk. Hello! Safsaba. <laughs> what? You don't have a place to stay? Well, you can't stay here. There's a perfectly fine hotel in town. The soldiers f speak highly of some kind of rejuvenating experience there. Phew. I can ha barely keep my eyes open right now. Savork. Mm -hmm. Yes? Did you need something? You know what? Tell me about Urbosa. Mm. You wish to speak of Lady Urbosa? Hmm, what an interesting request. After Urbosa was tamed, we located Lady Urbosa's diary. Since you're here, I shall tell you something from it. Lady Urbosa had a beloved friend who she thought the world of, the Queen of Hyrule. Such a big heart, Our Lady Urbosa was admirable in every aspect of her life. Where's her diary? Lady Urbosa's diary is on the sofa. Since she trusted you, I'm certain she wouldn't mind you reading it. Now what is she doing? What is... Riju, what are you doing? Hmm? What? Okay. We're just standing here now? Alright. I wonder if I changed into male clothes, if anyone would... Would bother it. Uh, I'm kinda... Uh, let's try it. Nope. Man, how do you detect a foe when I'm in the... <sighs> okay, where is the sofa she was talking about? Here? Have we... Oh, there it is. Uh, let's not do that. Let's do this. Read Urbosa's diary while standing on the couch. You probably could have easily programmed a sitting animation, but no. First page. <clears throat> oh, goodness, this accent. My dear friend from afar came to visit Gerudo Town today. It is always a pleasure to see the Queen of Hyrule. She described her reason for coming as, as urgent. I should probably actually do her voice. She wished for me to meet her newborn child. Her sweet daughter's name is Zelda. She has her mother's smile. I cannot help but cherish her already. I told her that Zelda is sure to grow up into a dignified and beautiful queen, just like her mother. My friend thanked me, and, but said that looks are fleeting, and instead she wishes for Zelda to be blessed with true happiness. The way she gazes upon her daughter, her little bird as she calls her, I have never seen such unconditional love. It has been a long while since we laid our my dear friend, the queen, to rest. I... I only now have the will to write again. It was so sudden, I still can't believe she is gone. All my sweet memories of her keep running through my mind. Even now, I can hardly keep the tears at bay. Young Zelda kept her head held high as she said her final goodbye to her mother at the funeral. She carried herself as a true princess, but I can sense the deep grief she is hiding within. I worry for her. I made a voyage to visit Hyrule. After speaking with the king, I saw Zelda for the first time in a year. In truth, it was my concern for her that brought me there. The king allowed me to keep her company as she went to the spring for her training. There, Zelda prayed and prayed in, in the spring's icy waters until the sun set. I told her many times to stop, but she would not listen. I eventually had to drag her out of the water. Zelda gazed at me for the longest time with heartbreaking vulnerability. Eventually, in a tiny voice, she told me of the pressure and panic she feels at not being able to fulfill her sacred duty. She wish, whispered over and over, Why can't I not do as the royal daughters of the past have done? What is wrong with me? All I could do was hold her close and listen, and pray that it is enough. Emissaries from Hyrule came to see me today. They informed me that I have been chosen to pilot the Divine Beast. My people are uneasy about it. They tell me of, uh, tell me such a dangerous task is not fitting for the chief. I understand their fear. However, I ex intend to accept this task. Calamity Ganon's resurrection does not only threaten Hyrule, but the f whole world. I refuse to idly sit by. Ganon was also closely associated with Gerudo, an association I deeply resent. I believe Zelda will be here soon to receive my official answer. I am excited to see her, as always. 
I attended the inauguration ceremony alongside the other champions whom I share a fate with. Share a fate with. That's an interesting word choice. Zelda, Rivali, Mifa, and Link are so young. They are Hyrule's future. Daruk and I hope to see them to see that future. However, one thing did trouble me. Zelda was uncharacteristically cold towards Link. I can imagine why. I hear Link has been assigned as Zelda's guardian knight. I hope they find a way to get along. Link requested to meet with me today. Huh. He tells me that Zelda exploited our law that restricts men from entering town to slip away from him. I told him of a trick that would allow him entrance, and he was able to get in. By then, however, Zelda was long gone. I promised to let him know if I saw her, so he reluctantly returned home. I have a similar yet distinct in a similar yet distinct way, Link seems to have trouble expressing himself. Uh, perhaps the two can perhaps the two can help each other. That is, if she ever gives him the chance. Today I accompanied Zelda as we went to research Naburis. When the sun set, the poor exhausted girl drifted to sleep. I sent word to Link, and, who showed up at Naburis faster than I expected. Although it is none of my business, I felt the least I could do to bridge their gap was to share some things about Zelda. The rest is up to him. I am so happy to say that Zelda smiles much more often lately. It seems she and Link have finally learned to get along. I hope this will have a positive effect on their training. However, I am more concerned that we may be running out of time. Whenever I hear of monster attacks or unusual events plaguing the kingdom, my concern grows. All I can do is pray that Zelda, my little bird, has, ha has enough time. I do not pray to the goddesses, but to her mother, my dearest friend. How I miss her. That was... That didn't explain much more than what we already knew, which I, I guess was to be expected. Rivali didn't really either, but it, it, they both offered some insight into the mindset of these two champions. And it's it's great to see some a little bit of character building because on first glance, a lot of the, the champions besides Rivali can feel a bit flawed. For example, uh, Urbosa and Daruk in the base game they practically have the same character. Like, they're not much different. They're both loud, they're both a little bit uh, headstrong, they're both a bit obnoxious, and they both act as mother or father fa uh, father figures, respectively, for, um, for Link and Zelda. But here, we get a little bit of more insight as to just what uh, Urbosa's background is with the royal family. And they actually make a distinction between them. Alright, this is the last person I haven't talked to spoken to um but it looks like it looks like yeah yeah she knows and that's it so that's it for Grudo Town we've Grudo Town is one of the the places we've spoken to people the most in and there aren't any new quests uh when we were looking for when we were getting the lightning helm we did speak to anyone everyone anyway interesting um, yeah, we did speak to everyone anyway, because that was just kind of required. So there isn't really anything to do now. And honestly, I had not planned out what I was going to do next, so I think I might end the episode there. I suppose we could... Hmm. No, I think I'm gonna end the episode there. I've, I've done plenty of long episodes. I think it's, it's fine if I do a short one. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please... If you want to see this channel grow bigger, if you want to see there being more likes, more views, more comments to interact with in the comment section, press the share button, share one of your favorite videos of mine with a friend. It's a great start. I've been releasing some shorter videos lately, so maybe that's a good start. Uh, maybe do one of the salad videos and, and get that started. And next time in Pal Plays Breath of the Wild... We're going to be holding, holding. We're going to be holding to the heading, heading region, where we will start DLC pack two of that area. See you guys then.